New at five, their lives are still dominated by grief, but months after their mother was killed by their husband, her husband in a murder-suicide, they're still trying to make a difference. It's part of our series Confronting Domestic Violence. Two sisters telling Courtney Friedman their mother kept her life as a domestic violence victim a secret. So they feel now it's their duty to send this message to the community. Gabriela Munavar was like the epitome of a, of a mother. Regardless of wherever mom was, that's where home was for us. She's the kind of mom that like when you were to cry, she would just hold you and just comfort you. As kids, Megan Castro and Lauren Trussell never knew their mother had been in an abusive relationship with their father for 30 years. It escalated to where she had to tell us because it, it was becoming physical. We always thought, well, if we had known sooner, we could have, you could have been happier and safer sooner. She divorced their father about seven years ago and remarried Joseph Albright a couple years later in 2014. They'd known each other for three months. It's common for abuse survivors to land in similar relationships, but this time Megan and Lauren didn't know until it was too late. On September 2nd, Gabriella missed an appointment and wasn't responding to text messages very unlike her. So Megan, with Lauren on the phone, went to her house. And I go to the back of the house and that's where I almost tripped over him. Like I, she couldn't tell me, she was just screaming, but I knew that mom had died. She found her mother and Joseph dead in their Stone Oak home, a gun still in Joseph's hand. Police ruled it a murder-suicide. Looking back, there were probably signs that she stopped really hanging out with her friends. She would have to check in on the phone a lot with her husband. They encourage people, look for the small signs of control. Check on your loved ones, ask questions, and offer help. If someone hearing this, you have your worth getting help. You are worth living safe and happy. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. If you or someone you know is suffering abuse, we have a list of resources on ksat.com slash domestic violence.